Alright everybody, hello and welcome back. We're going to be playing Let's Play Jump Picks 2, not Map 20. I just wanted to get out of the online server because I was hanging out on there for a while. Oh, we'll go back and back. So if I recall correctly, we finished up Map 10. I only went ahead and called it a day there for Part 1, so we're going to continue from the Darkest Chasm. JPX 11. Cool thing is, you can basically just push against that fail switch right there and then you'll lower down the area without having to climb all this bullshit that's around here. Anyway, so I got lots of pretty cool things to talk about today, so why don't we go ahead and get started. It's going to be a nice gonna be a nice day. First of all, as you guys can tell by the very slight change in my voice, I am, I'm a little happy. I'm definitely a lot happier than I was last time. As you guys know, my voice is monotonous. I'm not sure if that's the exact work, word. Work. Work, 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 word. Alright. I'm not sure if that's the, that's the exact word, but, um, Alright, just to make sure I don't fail that shortcut again, let's just do a cut down version of that shortcut. But, um. Also, if you hear some chewing, by the way, I'm chewing gum. Sorry, I just haven't had some in a few days, and I'm, I really, really like gum. Being a teenager, you guys know gum is basically like a thing that is it's just basically a part of life for us, for teenagers. For us fucking teenagers. Anyway, uh, oh, shortcut that Ignacio showed me. He actually ran from way back there over to that area. You can just do an SR50 from here. Over there, it's a hell of a lot easier than gaining all that weird momentum. I'm not sure if that's what Sparrow did in his record, or I believe he has the online record, but whatever. So anyway, let's not get off topic, because I'm over here saying, oh, I'm going to talk about all kinds of stuff, and then I move on to something else. So we'll never know what I'm going to talk about. If you guys even care about what I'm going to talk about, which I, I, I doubt that you guys do. Um, oh man, I cannot do this. Shortcut, it's not even that hard, I keep running into the damn wall. Okay. But, um, so yeah, my sister, being nice as she is, annoying as well, but nice. She is going to Mexico in five weeks, so she was like, okay, you know, basically within those five weeks, you're gonna, you're gonna have to uh, choose, or pick, I guess, or whatever you want as a Christmas present, or presents, whatever. So, uh, so that was kind of cool, obviously. One thing that I was always, I've been looking forward to for a while, that was my fault, by the way, that was, that was, sucked, alright. But uh, yeah, one thing I was definitely looking forward to was getting some um, a micro um, yeah a microphone headset. I guess is a way you can say it, which basically I can record these videos a lot better because I am going to be having a a lot better microphone than what I already have. Even though this is a, I believe this is pretty legit in my opinion. I'm not sure about you guys, but in my opinion, the microphone I'm actually using for my webcam, it's not all that bad. Not all that bad. But, you know, it could be a little better, basically. And also, the big headphones will be better than than not having any at all. As you guys know right now, I'm not using any. So I can't really hear any sound that's coming from my computer because just to make sure it doesn't, the sound doesn't override the uh, my voice, I have, like, the sound turned really low. And I failed this jump twice already, so let's just SR40 without turning on the SR50. And that was bullcrap. We made it to the exit, so we're just going to go ahead and fly our way over to the exit and go back in there because I missed the exit. And uh, Crusader's Corridor. Oh, yeah, we got a medikit. medikit. I'm not on it today. Like I know I'm usually not on it every day for talking, but today I'm just, like, way off it. Like, I'm nowhere near it today. But, um... Hmm... So yeah, she said that a good no more than fifty bucks is what she would spend on basically my microphone headset. So I'm like, when you think about it, that's pretty that's pretty dang good. You can definitely get a good pair of uh, or yeah, well not necessarily pair because it's only really one. Although it does come with one for each ear, I guess. But I mean, you know, you can get a pretty much a good set, I guess, or a good microphone head micro microphone headset. Fuck, I'm not on it today. You can get a good microphone headset for maybe about 30, 40 bucks. So, um, 
I'm probably not going to get these two switches before the barrels turn off. I'll still try my best. Run, we can do it. Oh, yeah. Anyway, but, um, so yeah. She said about, you know, 50 bucks was the maximum she'd spend. And I imagine you can get some pretty good ones for maybe about 30 to 40. Obviously, the lesser I spend, the more money she's going to be willing to, you know, spend to buy other stuff. Which, other stuff at the moment of what I'm thinking of getting is, uh, that hurt now. 40 HP, that's a lot. And another however much that took out. So if I get hit by one more, I'm screwed. If I get hit by that fireball, I'm probably screwed. Run! Oh man, that was close. One. Get all this health. Alright, we're going to want to go ahead and make a safe state here. Okay, Crystal, gosh. Let's play. Jump mm, pick. Okay, pardon. And so the door's open. I guess it'll just remain open until the next map, and I'll just go ahead and stop it there. Alright, as long as you get the health that you need, you won't, most likely won't die. The Crusader isn't that, not really much of a pain. As long as you just keep doing circles, like if you follow this method of attack, I guess, whereas you just keep moving around circles and shoot him with rockets, he can't touch you. It's not that, not that difficult to, uh, to kill this guy. Whereas avoiding a spider mastermind is impossible because his chain gun is lock on. Apparently. Hey guys, we got a lock on chain gun. Shit. Ow. That, that could have killed me. That could have killed me. That could have been my end. There we go. Mo going on to the, into the next map, we're just going to want to go ahead and pick up all the health bonuses, so. You know, we'll be nice and stocked with health going going into the next map. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but I think there's like probably a good. I was going to say 50, but we're probably going to pass 50. 80, maybe? No oh, shit, I almost fell off. Uh, we were one short. Oh man. Well, whatever. That's good. Ultimately, we're going to have 179 health now going on to these next maps, so that's almost like having another. Another pretty big amount of um of ammo. Or not ammo, but uh of health rather. My apologies. But um yeah, so she said that. So that's pretty good. So I do expect that sometime by Christmas. I'll probably use the very crappy webcam that I'm using right now. It's actually not that crappy. It's actually pretty good quality. It records in pretty good quality, but it just uh like focuses in and out a whole bunch, so it, it kind of, you know, occasionally will just like focus and then like, you know, I'll get a little blurry and then I'll focus back in perfectly or whatever. It does that quite a lot, though, which is something that kind of sucks about it. But, again, it records pretty pretty good video. And as you can tell by the audio of this video, it also records pretty good audio. Again, don't expect anything like some pro $100 microphone or anything like that. But just do expect, you know, maybe to, for me to be at least a tad bit louder. You know, that'll always help out for people who can't hear me. Which I'm sure you guys can hear me. So come to think of it, it actually would kind of be a waste to get in. I mean, this this webcam is legit. I don't know, what do you think? Leave your comment in the comment section below. Tell me, would getting a microphone headset be a waste since I pretty much have this webcam, which is basically legit? I can just attach it to my shirt or whatever I'm wearing. And as you guys can see, it's obviously going to work. So yeah, actually, come to think of it, I might not actually get the headset then. Never mind. I can spend that valuable other $50 on something else. I don't know, you guys go ahead and just leave the com leave a comment down there, because then again, it'd be cool to have them, but, you know, I'm just saying, if I don't get them, you know, it's not that big of a deal. Like, it's basically just not of big necessity. Basically, so I can pretty much afford to get something else that's pretty pricey that for, um, for Christmas. But I don't know, again, if you guys, if you guys say, oh, yeah, my, your microphone's crap, get a better, get a better one, and then, all right, and then, yeah, I'll go ahead and, um, I'll go ahead and get the headset. But, yeah, most likely not. Never mind. Never mind. Like, it'd be a good idea to have it, but it's like, eh. 30 bucks? 40? Yeah, that's a bit much. I can probably probably buy something else. Now, what that something else is going to be, I'm not sure, but... Here's my shortcut, by the way. I actually invented this. Oh, yeah. 
I'm gonna go ahead and just save the safe state here because this area can be a bit annoying. But yeah, I actually did make that that um, shortcut there. I saw Nike use a version of it when he jumped on every torch, but I invented, at least as far as I'm concerned, actually bouncing on that second torch, I believe is what it is. I'm not sure if it's the first one. I'm pretty sure it's the second one, but bouncing on the second one over to that little area, and I believe that's what was done on the record run. And that currently still stands on UK Grand Void. Oh, shit. Felt like I was going to fall off there for a second. Eh, whatever. Choose your destiny. Pick your side. I'll go with the dark side. But, um, yeah, so come to think of it, it's really not that big of a necessity to actually get those, um, that microphone headset, so. So, yeah, never mind. I might not get it. I might get it, but I might not. If I do get one, though, it's probably going to be very crappy. I'm probably not going to spend 30 to 40 bucks to get a legit one. I'll just be like, as long as it has a microphone and it works and it has at least four stars of review rating or whatever, and then, you know, I'll, I'll get it, sure. Oh, man, not this map. Hot-headed bop. Or hot-head bop. I'm not sure when I started recording. All I know is that it was at map 10, so I'll probably stop recording at maybe 20, whatever map this is. It's probably like 17 or something, so we're going to end the recording <clears throat> sometime. Sometime within the next maybe 10 minutes, the recording's probably going to end. But uh, this will be basically like the last of our jump wads to complete. Because I believe I did three maps, three and a half, technically. And I'm just going to fly over there. I could obviously go back over there, but I'll just use fly because I'm too lazy to uh, do this area over again. But, um, yeah, other than that, this is pretty much... Wait, where was I? Oh, no, I was still back here. No, I'm going to get ahead of myself. Let's just go here. I don't know where I, where exactly I was. I kind of lost track. I believe it was somewhere up there, like way up there, but whatever. It doesn't hurt to go ahead and just go back a little bit. Going back to a simpler time. I believe it was probably around here somewhere, but whatever. But, um, so yeah, one thing I really do want to get is pen mods. I think it was actually right here, but whatever. Pen mods for people who aren't pen spinners, and then you probably wouldn't understand what I'm saying. You're probably going to be like, whoa, pen mod. But, um, pff, crap. Not actually loads for my safe state suite. So basically, wherever I die, that's kind of like where I teleport. That's kind of cool. Plus, it even reloads my time. And, yeah, that's unnecessary. Let's just slow down, make sure we get through it, and continue. But, yeah, because right now I just have a personal mod and a victory that I made. Again, if you don't understand what I'm talking about, it's okay. But, actually, wasn't it up here? I think I died up here somewhere. Shit, I don't even remember. All right, whatever, let's just move on. I don't care where I died. But, yeah, I made a little victory that I, I don't really use. And then the personal mod which I've basically been using ever since I started. I believe it was my first, like, official, like, really good pen mod that I started using. Yes, it was. I'm gonna just fly back up there. Shit, I'm not gonna do this over again. Oh, boy. I believe it was around here somewhere? Let me just go here. I'm not sure where it was. Alright. But, yeah, so I've been using pretty much the same pen mod since I started pen spinning about maybe... Probably three months by now. I'm used to saying about two to three, but I'm pretty sure by now it's three because you know we're we're getting pretty, we're getting into the middle of November. You know, I know we're still not in mid-November. Mid-November is until like the late teens, like you know, 16, 17, 18, 19, that kind of stuff. That's kind of when we hit mid-November, but we can still count it as basically being that I've been pen spinning for um, about three months now. And I know it's like you know you shouldn't really get a buster until you're like advanced, is what they say, but it's like. I'm eventually going to get advanced, and, you know, so why not? You know, the only question is, like, what type of buster? Because there's, like, you know, ones with, like, different weights and stuff like that, you know. Like, they they like they like have rings at the tips for, like, a little bit more weight and stuff like that. I'm not sure which one I want. Because, personally, I, like, I do like pretty heavy mods, and I do know a buster is heavy. At least so people say. Because, like, when something's really light, you know, obviously it doesn't have momentum and you can't spin it as well. So I definitely would like something that has uh, pretty good momentum. So, you know, basically a buster or a waterfall would be pretty good. I did hear waterfall is like a moderate or like a intermediate pen, uh, not intermediate pen spinner, intermediate mod. 
So I'm guessing that's for people who've been pen spinning for about a year, over a year, because the beginner's tournament that I entered, which will actually be one of the reasons I'm not going to be recording tomorrow or for a while, um, it says that for a beginner you have to be spin pen spinning for less than a year, so I imagine intermediate would be a year to less than two years, and then advanced pen spinner would be pen spinning for two years. Which sounds like it'll be far away, but it'll, it'll that day will get here pretty soon. Right now I'm making videos, but... Uh, Cyberdeem can't see us. Fuck, Cyberdeem can see us. Alright, well now that he sees us, let's go ahead and swing our Fist of Fury. Fist of Fury! Damn it, damn it, damn it! Ah, oh, crap. His horribly aimed rockets. If that was an Annihilator, though, that shot those, um... What do you call it? Because I know he shoots, like, two pairs of rockets. Or, like, three. The first two are just normal ones. And the other one he shoots... Or one of them that he shoots makes, like, a different noise when it when he shoots it. And then it's actually a lock-on rocket. I believe it's a pretty strong lock-on rocket. This is the crappiest one, by the way. This one sucks. But, yeah, I believe it's a pretty strong lock-on. So, when that stuff is locked on, you better hide behind a wall or something. Because you'll... I, I got lucky out with those rockets. I believe you can just slide across that. Well, let me actually try. I, you can probably slide across that. No, you can't. That actually looks like a big gap. Big gap. Well, maybe you could. I don't know. Again, I'm not here to do awesome speed runs. I'm just here to basically do a let's play on jump maze or on jump wads. Speaking of jump wads, I got a little off topic of, uh, a couple minutes ago, but uh, so yeah, this will be your last full wad. Ow. Oh yeah, remember that extra like 170 health that we got or something like that? That rocket took about 30 health away from us, so we would have been at about 70 health right now. Luckily, we're still at 149. Uh, can I get to the blue one? Okay, thank you. I This blue one is the easiest one. Don't get thrown off. That's not a bounce pad, by the way. It's just a normal pad, so I don't think you can bunny hop from there to the exit. Because I did that once, and I was like, well, yeah, that's not going to work. Yeah, what map are we on? I wanted to stop at 20. I feel like we've been recording for a while, but... I'll keep recording. I don't believe the next maps are too difficult or will take too long. Yeah, this won't take too long. The next map, I don't... What is that? Firefield or something like that? That won't take too long. I'm not sure of the map after that. I think it's Ruins. That probably won't take too long. And then the map after that is... Path of Despair. We might probably stop recording there, so we might stop recording at map 19. I definitely do want to get this map in the next three maps, but I'm not sure what's after that. It's I'm pretty sure it's um, Path of Despair, though. Path of Peril for the people that are really specific. But I just call it Path of Despair because Despair has the record on uh, on UK Grand Void. Obviously, the map has Despair boss music, so if he didn't have the record, it'd actually be a crime. Plus, it it would it kind of fits as a pretty good pun to name the thing Path of Despair. Oh, sorry if I was a little quiet there for a second. I was just didn't really have anything to talk about. Although at the beginning of this video, I was like, oh, I have like a million things to talk about. But yeah, I kind of covered them a little bit quicker than I imagined. Uh, I had another test in English that I'm pretty sure I got a very bad grade on. Oh yeah, I actually got a D on that. Oh yeah. I got a D on that test, so right now my B went down to a B-. minus. So yeah, if I, if I don't definitely don't start doing something... And my grade in English is going to dip down to a C, which is, I don't want it to go down there, so I'm definitely going to have to haul ass to try to get that grade up. When's our next, like, thing that will actually be life-changing, or not life-changing, but grade-changing? I believe it's the paper that we're going to turn in. Papers are worth 35% of our grade, so if I can get an A on that, and then I'll be able to... I'm bringing that grade up to like um, if it stays right now, add it that B. The hell did I run into? 
I ran into something while I was there. Might have just been the little thing that like teleports you to a new region or something, I don't know. But, um, so yeah, so ultimately for Christmas, I might get the headset, though, now that I've kind of thought about that, how this, uh, webcam actually works pretty sufficiently, that, you know, it, it is pretty, pretty useless to get that, so just to spare my sister from buying me, like, a ton of, uh, basically that, which is going to be worth a lot of money, and isn't really that necessary, you know, I, so yeah, kind of think of it, I'm probably not going to buy it then. But, you know, it wouldn't hurt to go ahead and just, you know, search a pair of headphones or microphone headsets. I guess you can call them a pair because it's kind of got, like, two of the ear buds or whatever the hell those bigger things are called. Headphones. This is map 19, I believe. Yep, so whatever the map after this is, and then we're going to go ahead and stop recording there. But, yeah, so ultimately it's going to be that, a couple of pen mods... Mm, yeah, that's probably it. Mm, yeah. Other than that, I don't. I mean, I don't imagine I'm gonna be getting a new computer, obviously, because apparently get you know, oh, these laptops suck, or you know, stuff like that. As so said by Lancer, he's been telling me that like every computer that I think is good pretty much sucks. Which it's like, okay, I'll believe him. He knows a lot more about computers than I do. But, um, but yeah, whatever. I guess it's best to take it from an actual computer, uh, not genius, but someone who definitely knows a lot about computers. Best to take it from them than someone who just knows, maybe intermediate about computers. Obviously, I'm in a computer class right now. Computer hardware and maintenance. We're learning about, like, basically computer stuff. I believe right now we're working on computer security. I believe that's the unit we're on. Let me think. Unit 8, computer security. I think it's computer security. No, it's networking. Security is our next... Our, um... Our next units or chapter. Right now we're doing networking. I did kind of think about being like a... Something with like some sort of... Or like, you know, working with like computer networks and stuff like that. That'd be a pretty cool job. There's the switch, by the way, in case you don't know where the hell to go. You just push that, and then, voila, this comes down. Sorry, I felt something like a bug or something on my arm. Because I'm wearing no-sleeve shirts right now. Or in shirt. But, um, oh, no, the next map is that one that has that one music. That's like... Uh, the Sixth Dimension, yeah, that's the next map. So we're, we're going to go ahead and stop recording after this, then, because that map is kind of long. And then after that's Path of Despair. Let me just go ahead and be sure that that's the next map. All right, yeah, that's the next map. All right, so anyway, thank you guys for watching. Part three will be coming at you in right now. Peace.